Okay guys, for your next grade in, okay, you've got to do a hip throw. The Japanese terminology for the hip throw is goshi. There's two variations you can do. So the way you're going to set it up, okay, is you grab the partner first and you grab the head. Now there's two ways to do it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go bring this hand that's on the head, you're going to bring it around the back, okay? And this makes it easy to throw someone with a little bit heavier than you. So you've got hold of the wrist, okay? As you've got hold of the wrist, you're going to step past with your opposite leg. As you step past with your opposite leg, your hand comes around the back and you put your hip past their hip. That's really important, you must have your hip past their hip. You're going to bend your knees, as you bend your knees you're going to get them on your back and you're going to turn towards whichever hand has got hold of their arm. So you bend your knees, and throw. So watch again, you grab the wrist, Okay, you have the head to start. As you step through you change your position in your hands. You grab higher up the arm and you grab behind their back and you step past. Your hip must be past. You bend your knees, get them on your back, and throw. The second variation is when you grab the head instead of behind the back. So here we've got the head, okay? As you step through, you go in a sort of headlock and you grab high up the arm, okay? So your hip must be passed, and you don't want to be turning to face them like this. You want your bum basically on, on their legs, okay? You're going to bend your knees, turn, and throw. Watch again, okay? So here, you step through, okay? You bend your knees, turn, and throw just like that. So it's important that your partner break falls as well for safety and um, to stop them from hurting themselves. Okay, so there are two variations of the hip throw.